What's up, everybody? Hope you had a wonderful Martin Luther King celebration today. Um, I had to work, but um, just a few hours today, so um, I didn't go into any um, celebrations, but every day was a celebration above ground, so um, yeah, so this is a late haul, yeah, but it's it's late, but it's done. <laughs> but this is a family dollar haul I did Saturday. And just wanted to come on here and share with you all the stuff I got. Um, so under like $2 per item. Um, yeah, under $2 per item. Without that. And this is oh god <clears throat> this is uh, wood pack so I got the six roll of um, paper towels It's supposed to equal 10 rows, y'all, but y'all know how that is. And then I got the six row of um, toilet paper. Um, and then I also got, okay, this was $6 for the paper towels. And then the bathroom tissue was $3.70 for the six row. Then I got the Hawaiian I'm so clumsy, y'all. Uh, because I'm doing this on my old recliner. <laughs> Lit up. <laughs> so. Okay, so this is the one. This is the Hawaiian Aloha. Um, then I got the Hawaiian Aloha. And then I got the Airwick warmer here. Or warmer. And then the Bora Bora. And then the Moonlight here. And they are $3.30 each. Um, then I got the Oral B uh, Bacteria Blast Toothbrush, which was. Um, Three dollars, and then I had a two dollar off coupon, so that made that a dollar. Then the Glide um, Dental Floss type floss pick, or whatever you call it. Um, four dollars, and I had a two dollar off, so that made these two dollars for the seventy five count. So, um, all of my coupons came off plus the five dollar. Um, smart coupon. It totaled up to two dollars. I mean, fourteen dollars and ninety cents. And with tax, it was sixteen dollars and eighty-one cents. Um. So let me get my calculator. Yeah, I might hear my stomach growling, but I ain't hungry because I just ate. So. The fourteen dollars and ninety cents. It made it under two dollars per item, a dollar and eighty six cents, y'all. And then uh, with tax, it was two dollars and eleven cents per item. So I think you know I did pretty good with all these items. And then on fetch, I know I got something back, and I don't know where else I might have got some some money back, but I know fetch. Gave me some some money back on these, and I got to check other apps to see if I get money back on any other thing, y'all. I don't think I did all of them to check to see what I might get back. I think I gotta go. Yeah, I know I gotta go on PNG.com to uh, do the Febreze, and I don't know if this on there. I think they have Colgate instead of the Crest. I don't know. But anyway, this is what I got. I got eight items, 
um, under $2 per item. So $2 for a six pack roll of toilet paper and um, um, toilet paper and paper towels. That's good. And these, like I said, these are like $3.30 each. So yeah, so I, I saved a little money then I got some rebates. So then I still got to go on coupons.com and, and um, scan my receipt for those items. I know for sure. And then I also scan my receipts on um, swag books as well. So get a few cents from that. So that is that. Okay, so I'm gonna put that to the side, y'all. And then I'm gonna share with y'all the, the other stuff I got. But it was from D and G, DG. Um, I got a lot of stuff for, for where's my receipt at for the DG though? I didn't get it. Hold on y'all, I got to go find it. I got to find it. But I had brought it over, but I did not. Okay, DG, where are you? Since it's not there, I have so many receipts, y'all. I don't even know why I'm putting them. So hold up. Y'all give me a second. I gotta find it. Oh, there it is. Found it. It was hiding up on the mud stuff. Anyhow. Okay, so let's start over. <laughs> Okay, so I got this big thing of game. Y'all know I can't use game laundry detergent. So, but dish soap and like cleaning supplies, I'm okay with it. It's just I can't use the game for my skin. Um, so I tried to do the, the little deals when you buy all these game products and you get the $5 off for the, uh, the app thing and the other five for the spending over 20 or 20 and getting um game products. I don't think it worked out so well for me, y'all. I'm y'all let me know. Because like I said, I'm not used to doing the game deals because I'm allergic to game. As far as like the laundry soap and stuff. Oh, oh God. I hurt my own nose. This is all over the place, y'all. Bear with me, cause sister getting old and clumsy, older and clumsy. Okay, so this is the DG stuff. Um, okay, so. That is how many items does it say? Cause I don't know, these receipts are different. 
Yeah, I remember when Dollar General um, receipts used to have, like, how many, I'm thinking, it used to have how many items you purchased um, at the bottom of the receipt. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought it used to have, like, how many items you purchased at the bottom of the receipt. I'm going to have to find an old receipt and see. Because I thought it used to have, I know... Family Dollar has it, but I was for sure Dollar General had it too. But Dollar General does their receipts so different from everybody else, and I think it's just a confusion. Anyway, uh, it says I saved thirteen dollars and thirty cents on this receipt. Um, I used to like when it says uh, you save the five dollars or the three dollar. I don't know. It's just it's so different. Okay, so let me clear this history on this phone. Okay, this was okay. Twenty two point fifteen without tax. And how many items do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It says seven, so I'm gonna divide. No, oh. seven. So it'd be like three dollars or something per item. So I just don't feel like I saved a lot. I don't feel like that uh, extra five dollars came off, y'all. Um, I don't know. It just something just ain't. It just don't seem right. But I still got a lot of stuff for like uh, this big thing. And this big thing of floor cleaners, I need to get to work and do that. I got these old, um, I don't know if y'all know anything about those um, cheap leather sofas and love seats and how they shed. And let me show you what I mean. And stuff gets all over the floor and it makes it look bad like that. Like I got a sofa cover over it, but... It still reclines, so I'm trying to hold on to it. It's at least um, to get a little bit more wear and tear out of it because it still reclines. It still is <coughs> a comfortable. It's just shedding that fake leather stuff or pleather stuff, <coughs> and it's annoying. Um, but what can I say? One day I'll be able to do away with it and get me something else. Okay, so. Okay, so if you look at that. Okay, so without the tax, it was $3.16 per item. And with the tax, it's $3.46 per item. So, and this is... Uh, Hold up. Okay, so this is um, $9 by itself for this gallon of um, surface cleaner. Okay, and then I got the Febreze. Um, all these are Febreze, y'all. Honeyberry, original, and then original again, the spray. And then I got the small spaces. The small spaces, that's what that is. The small spaces was um, 325 And the honey gain um, was, let's see, 270 uh, the mopping cloths, ten dollars. Okay, and the Febreze gain. Um, I guess that would be this. Um, four dollars, and the air freshener, three twenty-five. 
ahead and see if you put everything in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, seven items. So yeah, and like I said, this is nine dollars. This is nine dollars by itself. And this is ten dollars by itself. The floor mopping cloths. How many is it in here? I ain't even looked to see y'all. I just bought the stuff. Oh, twenty-four. So that's good. So I ain't got to to buy no more of them. I decided that I'm probably going to take a couple of weeks off from couponing. I'm going to try to anyway, depending on what kind of deal they have. So I just wanted to go ahead and stock up on some of these things. I try to keep stuff like this. And then the smoking spray that I told y'all about um, that I got from Walgreens. That great value um, in the blue can for a dollar. Cause my son's smoking that stuff stank so yeah and one of these items three the fab green i don't know i don't know i can't tell which is which y'all i got on glasses so anyway uh so to get all this for under 25 dollars, i think it's good because like i said this by itself is um nine dollars and this is ten dollars so to get um that um under all this under 25 dollars to me is good and like i said i have to go on coupons.com and um and maybe another app that i can scan this these receipts onto to um get some rebates back I have to check and see, but to me, this is, I mean, it's not the best deal because like I said, their receipts don't come out like you would expect them to, to let you know what it shows. It shows here. If y'all know, let me know. It shows here. Um, um, two store discount. So I don't know whether it came both of them came off because it's showing two store discounts for each of them so it could have been because it does show that um thirteen dollars and thirty cents came off so uh and it's showing two i'm gonna just add them up and see if that makes sense i don't know i'm kind of confused as like i said how their re receipts come out so y'all let me know how that works i just wanted to share with y'all um that I tried the game deal. Not sure if it worked out for me the way it probably would other people. But um, to me, it's still to get all this um, for under $25. It's still okay. It's still an okay deal. And then I still can get my rebates back on coupons.com and fetch rewards. So it's not too, too bad of a deal. Because I think this is a, some pretty decent stuff. And, you know, oh, yeah, let me, because I got more stuff to show y'all. I got a CVS haul that I'm on, um, and y'all probably pretty much used to what I do at CVS, because it's pretty much the same, same deal that I do at CVS. Um, I just sprayed some cleaning stuff and bleached my jogging pants, so... I guess it's just going to be around the house, work at home, attire. I can't touch it. I can't wear it nowhere else no more. But, and, let's see. Okay. Okay, so this is what I went and did last night. Y'all already know, I'm trying to get back up, stack back up with my um, Nivea. <laughs> And I try to keep userin because I have dry skin syndrome due to having Sjogren's. And Sjogren's is very drying to your skin. So, um, uh, 
this right here is a good product to use like in the winter time simply because it's so moisturizing um i ain't knocking um olay and um dove because i still use those but y'all y'all know like when i first started doing videos and stuff like this i i, I used to like rave about my Nivea anyway and then I started using the other stuff and I kind of like forgot that I had some Nivea and it was like pushed to the back of the shelf and I was like oh, I'm gonna use Nivea and see what's going on here and then I realized how much I miss my Nivea so I'm back on my Nivea so I don't know if I'm gonna be here <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be so stuck on my um the other stuff anymore I think I'm just gonna be trying to do my Nivea and my Eucerin. Eucerin is man, it's okay. Eucerin and Aquaphor. Aquaphor, I would give that as far as like a coating on your skin, like as far as your lips and stuff, and like a protection. And this, it's it's all right with moisturizing. It's okay. It's not bad, bad. But by me having this condition, that might be why it doesn't like wow wow me you know but i mean i continue to buy it so uh, because they have deals on it and it's not like bad it's not drying my skin out it's just i don't know i'm just a fan of this <laughs> um and i oh i wish i would have got the rest of those uh nivea gift sets at walgreens when i saw them I left them there, y'all. And y'all know these people around here greedy. They'll take up everything before anybody else can get to it. So, But I did see the little jars of the um, the Nivea stuff at Roses. They just don't have the price on them to let you know how much it is. And, you know, some people get angry when you have to stop them from what they're doing just to ask them the price of something. So I didn't even need, even bother asking them at roses but they have the jars that are just like the ones in the that was in the gift sets at roses so i'm probably going to be going to roses and and getting some of those um i just love my nivea y'all i'm gonna stop raving about it no i'm not i'm not gonna stop raving about it i love my nivea point blank period but anyway <laughs> i got the uh okay so they had the Hershey Kisses candy marked down, I guess. The shelves, they don't mark their shelves down or signage down like they should in the stores. Like, it, it was 50% off on the shelf, but it was actually 75% when I went last week. Okay, yesterday I went, it was 90% off, but it still had 75% of that. So, yeah, so they ain't on their game at the store. But anyway, I got some of these for my sweet tooth. I don't need them, but. And they're actually not that good. Like, I, don't, I guess I'm, um, I done got over it. <laughs> actually not that good. Anyway, they're here for whenever I have a sweet tooth. Anyway, they're not, what else? How much were they? A dollar and something, y'all. Oh, dollar 32 cents each. So I got, I got four bags. Then I got my Nivea, of course. And these body washes are $6.49 each. They always have the one of one kind and one of another. If I had my choice, I probably would get two of these. Because that shea butter, butter that's in there. But they only have one on the shelf. So they have a deal next week. You know I'm going to get some. <laughs> um... Because, you know, I use this stuff up. I use this stuff every day. So, you know, it's like it's going off the shelf. So, I'm, it's actually getting used. Um, so, trying to keep stack of it. Okay. So, these were $6.49 each, right? So, and I had a, what? I had a $10 off. I mean, a $10 extra care book from my previous deal of doing probably the userin um the the week before so i used that and i used my two percent from the 
extra buck, you know, the 10% that you get back when you make a purchase. Then I had a 40% off of one item, which only made that a dollar and eight cents off. I should have, uh, I should have split those transactions up so to make, make that a little less. Anyway, um, for these two items and the candy, um, the four candies, uh, it only ended up being like six thousand fifty-one cents plus tax, which was seven sixty-three, and I saved eighty-one percent, which is twenty-seven dollars and sixty-three cents. So did pretty good. Met my limit. Got five dollars back, so I paid um, six fifty-one out of pocket and got five dollars back. So that's a a dollar. A dollar and fifty one cents plus tax. So yeah, so let's see. Five dollars. Two two dollars and sixty three cents I paid for these lotions and the the Hershey's uh kiss candy. So okay, so on to the next. I got my userum and I use um I use um I should have used my ten dollar reward to go towards this. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I I used the five dollars that I had on the account to go towards this and it made this both of these um twenty dollars and ninety eight cents plus tax, which made it twenty three dollars and six cents. But I got ten dollars back, so that made it either excuse me, y'all. Ten dollars and ninety eight cents for both of them, or thirteen dollars and six cents for both of them, if you include the tax. And my limits were met on the Nivea and the um, Usera. So, and all I spent like uh, twenty three plus twenty eight plus twenty seven. That's thirty dollars, and I got fifteen dollars back. Thirty dollars and change, and I got fifteen dollars back. So to get this that and you know to me that was a good deal and i got uh i'm supposed to get six dollars back on coupons.com and six dollars back for this on for coupons.com so that'll make it even cheaper cheaper so i don't know like when i i don't know coupons.com my receipts are very explainable I remember um, a couple of times they said that I used coupons for the product. Um, and that's why I didn't get a reward back. But the only thing I used was my extra care book. So that was not the coupon, like a manufacturer's coupon. So, but I didn't go back and forth with them. I didn't feel like it. But I didn't have no, like, coupons because I haven't been, like, Clipping coupons or going on coupons that come printing or anything off. So, yeah, so that was just some misinformation, but I didn't go back and forth with them to let them know that it was just um, some rewards that I had on my account for making purchases. Um, I feel like that was wrong, but like I said, I didn't feel like going back and forth with them about it. Cause they said that they saw that I used some coupons and this not to be combined with any other coupons. And I'm like, this is like something for a whole nother purchase. So like for my rewards, my extra care books from purchasing something else that I just applied toward my final transaction. So, but hopefully it doesn't happen this time because if it does, I'm just going to probably bring up the last time it happened. And this time, and try to get them to correct both of them. <laughs> um, I didn't feel like the last time, but if they take it there, I'm going to take it there with them. <laughs> because of the fact that I'm not, I'm not clipping or using paper coupons inside the stores and stuff like that. I'm not, I don't have any of that. So, it wasn't anything else applied for them to even say that. Just an a, a extra care book, that's it. So, um, so that is my haul for today. So I had the Dollar General, the Family Dollar, and the CVS combined. Um, 
So, yeah. So, that's my haul. I didn't separate them. Yeah. And hopefully, I'll get better, back better with doing my videos. It's just so much going on, so much stress, so much chaos. So, with that being said, I got to stay in prayer. I'm not going to ask for you to pray for me because I got to stay in prayer and pray for myself. So, I just got to get it together. So, y'all just... Just take that in account that I just got a lot of stuff to work out. So, But um, y'all be blessed. Know that God loves you. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Stay blessed. Stay prayed up. Stay up under the anointing. And stay cool, honey. And if the church that you're in is not feeding your soul, um, ask God to lead you to another church. That's what I've been doing. Um, um you know, he just, you just let God lead, you know, sometimes we act and do stuff on our own account and, um, it's not God's, you know, will or way or direction. We're going off our own, um, feelings or whatever. So we just got to ask him to lead us the right way. So that way we'll do what's, you know, decent and orderly in his sight. So I'm just going to leave you with this. Just let God lead. Love you. Bye.